Jonathan and we're going to go over how to get the printouts for the Excel gradebooks uh, to work. So if you have been working with your uh, grade, gradebook you may have added a handful more students um, and you also may have added a number of other assignments and you might be in a time where now you want to use the Excel uh, well the built-in printouts and what you'll find in the printouts is you'll find that it's it only goes so into so many assignments and it only goes for so many students and it's very easy to add more assignments and students um, but if you've never used Excel before or you're very new to it uh, it can be a little bit intimidating so here's how it works if I want to add more students um, and I already have this on the data entry um, so I've already I want to add like a student 15 for example um, you know I've, I've already added my students but for the printouts, it's not showing up. What I want to do is I just want to select the cells that have things in them. So especially this number has to be selected, um, but I'll get the formatting too. And I'm just going to move my cursor down to the bottom. And you'll notice how the cursor changes shape. And I'm just going to drag over a few. And now I have, um, now I've essentially added the extra students. So this is the Mac side. I'm going to attempt to do the window that's in a virtual machine um, so the graphics aren't as, aren't as great, but here's the Windows version. Here's the printouts. Um, and if I scroll over for a second, I have the same situation. Um, and I can, I can go and I can add a few more columns up until however many students I want to add. So here I have, now I'm up to 13 students, for example. Okay. So now I want to go and I want to add more assignments. So let me go back to the Mac side. Um, and in the Mac side, um, what you can see is I've only gone down to homework four, but in, in this case, I've gotten far enough in the semester, let's say, that I want to go all the way to another classwork. So I have one more assignment to add. So it's the same idea. I'm gonna select all of these cells um, just down to here. And then I'm gonna put my cursor over until it changes and I'll just drag one down. And if I look over, um, it's added that next assignment. Now this looks, this looks good, and so if I go to the print preview, for example, um, so in, it, on Mac, it's file print. You can't see this too well, um, but there's, a, there's still numbers that show. So this row right here still shows. So once I've, once I've added all the students, I like to just go and hide this row. That way I don't see it anymore. Um, you know, on Mac, this looks pretty good. So if I go print, um, it looks OK, but I'm actually only getting the first 10 students. And the reason why is because if I go over here, you can see these dotted lines. It's only gone up to uh, the, the student 10. So what I want to do is I want to add essentially more students. Um, and so what I did was I grabbed uh, I put my cursor over these dotted lines and I just dragged over. So now it's going up to student 14. It hasn't gotten this last assignment. So I just drag down. And now when I go back to the print preview, file print, um, now it looks very good. I have all of my students and it's working as I want. Uh, if it's not working as you want, sometimes you have to fit it to one page wide by one page tall, especially if you have a lot of assignments. So what I need to do is I need to take this and drag all the way out uh, and I need to get this last assignment so I'm just going to drag that down 